Hi and welcome to Bites and Bits. For a while I've been looking for some headphones to wear at the gym. Now I do get quite sweaty at the gym and I find the in-ear ones they just get a little bit uncomfortable after a while and as my ear gets a little bit slippy when it's wet um, they do tend to fall out. So um, the opportunity came from a company called Light Me who offered to sort of send me a set of these for review. So these again are on-ear um, headphones, but they're not the ones that plug into your ear canal. They actually sit, um, uh, there's, well, well, they call them open ear headphones because they actually sit sort of on the front of your ear, um, not actually plugged inside it. So there's a little speaker here and it then plays down into your ear canal. And that offers a bit of airflow around there so they don't get sort of as hot and sweaty as the actual in ear ones. So, so that's what I'm going to be having a look at today. Um, have a look at sort of the comfort of these, the performance of them, uh, and just really if, if these are going to be the right solution. If, like me, um, you're not so keen on the actual in-ear ones. So let's have a look first at what's inside the box. So the model we're looking at today then is the Light Me Cozy Fit Open Earbuds. And again, I'll put a link to these down in the description. And these retail for around about £40 or $40, either direct from the manufacturer or, you, of course, you can get them through, through sort of Amazon and, and other outlets. So they come in this nice bit of packaging. Inside the box then, if I open that up, we have the actual headphone case itself. So this is the headphones and their charging case. We then have a little divider and underneath that we then have an accessories pack. And really there's only two accessories that come with the, the headphones, and that is the user manual, which really covers just basic operation, and then a USB-C charging lead. So looking at the headphones themselves, uh, so first we have to get this bit of cellophane off the uh, charging case, and then inside there, uh, we'll find the actual earbuds themselves. So these are held quite, quite securely um, by magnets into the charging case, which pulls them down onto the charging points. And, and, and there we have our, our over-the-ear um, earbuds. So let's take a closer look at the actual earbuds themselves. So as you can see, they consist of two real parts. So one part is the active speaker, and you can see that on the back of that unit. And then we have a touch button front to that. I think the grill at the top is for the microphone. And then that uh, active speaker area then is attached via this sort of bendy cord to a, a what is sort of like a whip, but I'm assuming that is the actual battery. And that then helps hold these in place around your ear. Now, the actual charging port then is, is just normal sort of standard thing, but it does come with USB-C. So that's actually quite handy to keep down the number of leads that you need to put on that. Uh, so the actual um, earbuds themselves, of course, fit just snugly inside that charging case. Um, they pull down onto the charging points, and of course, that then acts as a recharging station. Uh, and you can get quite a few charges off your earbuds from uh, one charge of the charging station. So to use the headphones, we of course need to pair them over Bluetooth. So my phone is sitting ready at the moment. And if I take the headphones out of their case, they will instantly go into pairing mode. And there we can see that it, they will pop up on my phone's Bluetooth list. So if I click on that, it will go into the pairing system. I can let it have access to my contacts and the headphones are now paired with my phone. If I now go into something like Spotify, I can simply pull up some sort of music and hit play. And that of course is now coming directly through the actual headphones. And hopefully you could just about hear that through my microphone. So pairing with one device is very straightforward. But if, like me, you have a couple of devices that you want to be able to use your headphones with, uh, this is one area where these um, don't quite perform as well as you might want to. So I have here my phone and my tablet, and both have previously been paired with the headphones. But at the moment, the headphones are paired and turned on with my phone. If I want to now use them with my tablet, as you can see, I can press the pairing on my tablet, but it isn't going to be able to do that because the headphones are currently attached to my phone. So to get them to pair with my tablet, I do need to turn off my phone's Bluetooth. That will then release them, and then I can now pair them with my tablet. And as you can see, they actually do go through the initial pairing uh, process to get them back and connected. And at that point, I can now use them with my tablet. So you obviously can use them with multiple devices, 
But as you can see, the swap over isn't quite as seamless as with other devices. So wearing the headphones then is pretty straightforward. They just loop over the top of your ear with the battery behind your earlobe and then the speaker just resting at the entrance of your ear canal. And they are incredibly comfortable and they feel very secure. And of course the idea here is that they do allow a bit of airflow then around your ear instead of simply blocking up your ear canal. So. For actual day-to-day -day use, and I've had them now for a few days and had them trying them out sort of both outside and down at the gym and, and so on. And I have to say, I'm actually very, very pleased with them. The the actual wearing them, they are incredibly comfortable. Uh, I do say their their states for cozy fit are, are very true. And they do give that that air around the ear does mean that they don't they don't just feel clammy um, while you're wearing them. Uh, they only weigh about seven grams or about, uh, I think it's about a quarter of an ounce. Uh, so, so in that sense, they are very light. And, and for, from, from terms of sort of um, security and sort of um, them staying on your ear, I have not had any problems at all, even with sort of, sort of quite vigorous workouts. So in that sense, I, I think that they do fit the bill very, very well. Now, as regards the performance of them, uh, again, the quoted um, eight hours um, playback time from a single charge, um, I would say that's probably about right. I, I've, I've, I've used them for a full day and then just let them charge overnight in the case. Uh, they say that the case then gives you extends that eight hours out to 30 hours, which I have no reason to doubt that at all. Um, as regards sort of wearing them out in the weather, uh, they are rated at IPX5, and I think that then means that they are dust and water resistant rather than proof. So, so really, if if they get rained on, um, or if you're maybe on the beach and there's and there's the the sand blowing, that they're going, they're, they're not going to be harmed by that level of water and dust. But obviously, you re you really wouldn't want to take them swimming with you. So, the final thing then, the the actual sort of musical performance of them. Okay, so so I'm I'm just I I listen to music. I'm not a an audiophile, and for me they, they work perfectly well. Uh, obviously, with them being open ear, they don't provide you with a sound isolation as such by sort of blocking up the ear canal, and they are not um, active noise suppression, um, so they don't have that uh, ability with them. Uh, but um, to be honest, if if you are walking down a, a busy street and so on, then perhaps some of the noises will get in there and disturb you. So they, they say they, they don't they don't isolate you um, from from exterior noise. As well, if you are in a very very quiet area, sitting beside somebody um, with them being open ear, there is a bit of sound leakage out of the headphones. Uh, so. And again, to be honest, I, I did try it with my wife sitting in the, by ourselves in the kitchen, and she said if she if she was sitting right beside me, she got a little bit of sound um, while I was listening to music, um, but it wasn't uh, annoying or anything. But I say, just do be aware that if you are perhaps in in a library playing some loud music through your headphones, I don't if, if people still go to libraries, uh, then you know you you, you might um, affect people around you just slightly. On, on the quality side then, uh, as I say, um, as just sort of casual listening, I I was really impressed with them. And as regards, again, bearing in mind these are a £40 um, set of headphones as opposed to 200 or 300 for your sort of iPods and, and, and so on. Uh, so in that sense, I think for, for me, they performed better than I was expecting at that price point. Um, I didn't have any problems with any of the types of music which I was playing through them, um, sort of, you know, pop, rock, classical, whatever. It seems to handle everything everything very, very well. Um, they were very, very clear with audiobooks. Um, so in the mid-range sounds, that uh, they do seem to be very, very good at that. I, I did actually get my my sons to have a play with them. Um, they're, they're both classically trained musicians um, with a, a very picky um, sound profile. Um, so they were would say that um, compared to um, sort of high-end uh, headphones. Uh, the, the the bass is a little bit lacking and the high-end treble is a little bit lacking. Um, so in that sense, if you are a true audiophile, then obviously you're probably not going to be looking at a £40 price mark anyway. Uh, but if you are 
and uh, with happy with sound and you want something maybe for the gym where you don't you don't mind if it um it gets a bit sort of messy and so on then then these would be uh, i think a very perfect fit and again i'm i'm incredibly happy with them so in conclusion then um i say i say i am i am very very pleased with these headphones and I, and i will be continuing to use them as my sort of go to for for going to the gym and, and out and about uh, i don't see any reason to sort of upgrade from that so if if you are interested in this do please check them out on their website just to get more information there uh, about the actual um, devices themselves um i hope you found this review interesting and informative um if so please do click that like button and subscribe to the channel um and don't forget to watch out for our next videos on sort of so, some product reviews again i i tend to only review products which i'm actually interested in not just sort of any old any old product um so so watch it for those but of course then our main topics of course are sort of gaming modding electronics and making projects so watch out for those videos as they come up so i look forward to seeing you again very soon and bye for now for more games programming electronics projects and retro gaming please make sure you like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and visit my website